Hello there, I'm Manu and you're on the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Before we start, do not miss to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update. So today I have a very exciting project to share with you today. Uh, these are shrink print tiaras that I made using the shrink print frosted sheets from Dress My Craft. I hope you will like them and let's begin. So I have the shrink print frosted sheets with me. Uh, these comes in a pack of 10, 50 and 100 and you can choose depending upon your project and the number of sheets you will be requiring. These are A4 side sheets and one of the side is a glossy side and the other is a frosted or a little matte side. These sheets are opaque. So I will be using the Dress My Craft Easy Cuts machine to cut the flower size that I desire for making the tiaras. So the Easy Cut machine is by Dress My Craft and I really like how compact this machine is and how easy it is to carry it anywhere and cut out your dies. So once the cutting is done, we will um, color these shrink print sheets using the kind of medium you would want to color it with. You can basically use any kind of coloring medium, be it watercolor pencils or acrylic colors or the pastel colors. I am using the oil pastel colors because currently I am having these. You can also use um, color pencils and um, any wide variety of the coloring medium can be used for these sheets to color. I am also colouring on the frosted side of these die cuts. The colouring tip that I would like to give over here is that you need to really blend your colours very well and um, your finishing product depends on how good and how uh, much blending you have done for all the colours. So be extra cautious while you are doing it and make it even and uniform all across. So I have colored the shrink print process sheets in the pink, blues and purple colors and now we need to punch a hole. I am using the Dress My Craft hole punch that is 1 by 8 mm punch to punch holes in the shrink print process sheet. And now is the time for the most exciting part to see how these sheets curl and twirls and take its perfect shape. So uh, be sure and just make sure that you use a little you know, cotton cloth over your embossing pad to make it heat resistant. Another thing you may need to make sure is that the hardening time for these petals is very less. So. Um, it's hardly about like 5 to 6 seconds so you need to make sure that you press down your flower petals into the desired shape as soon as it is done. So I've just placed a little um, diamond stud in the middle of the flower to show you how beautiful it looks, how pretty it looks once it is done but you also need to make sure that the flower to 
for it to obtain the flower shape you need to press down the petals when it is hot So we have made all the flowers now and now is time to bind them together. So I am using a petal over here a wire and then I would be inserting the, the diamond stud in these. So I am using the E6000 glue. I am using the E6000 glue over here because it, was a, it is a very nice glue to adhere such small things with finis and it uh, dries out really very fast to give a very uh, good time to clear out the thing. So once our flowers and petals are done, to make the base of the tiara, I am taking the wires, the wires that are used to make the flower stems and I would uh, make them into a round shape and bind or no, just join two of them together to make a round circle. So once the circle base is done, I would use the green tape that we use for the floral stem making. So I would be using that tape to wire it around the wire very nicely and thickly, especially at the joints so that it doesn't um, you know, poke the head of the person who is wearing the tiara. We would now be wrapping up the flowers around the stem, the base of the tiara. Uh, you need to make sure and harden them very gently so that they do not fall apart or the ends are not protruding so that it doesn't you know, poke the person who is wearing it. So just be sure and a little cautious about the ends of the flowers that you are putting in.
so i also decided to add a little white pearl between each of the flowers because it looks really very very nice and i am kind of really obsessed with round pearl especially the um, ones in the creamy shades Oh, you can see how beautiful, how gorgeous this tiara looks, and I'm I couldn't stop myself from making two of them, so I did it. I hope you like the video process of making the tiara, and I would really like you all to make some. Thank you for watching.